Welcome to the Norbert Castle Hotel in Blackpool. We've just arrived. I'm just parked over down the side over here, past this van. I'm just going to do a bit of a review of the Norbert tonight. I don't want to tease you and wait, make you wait till the end. I will tell you straight up, the price we pay for this hotel tonight is £32. We're just on the, the seafront here, just by Bispam and Cleveland's in Blackpool. And an even bigger bonus, I've just checked in and there is no parking charge. I was expecting to pay around £10 a night for the parking, but it is completely free. Let's go and have a walk in and see what it looks like. And let's see if it's worth the £32 a night. It's a bit small, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the shine. <laughs> Is that window open? Oh my f***ing god. No, it just doesn't close. That doesn't work at all. Stay to that. Oh my god, this one's open as well. It's f***ing freezing. Oh my god, this one doesn't work either. Here we are. Norbert comes to bathroom. Let's take a quick look around. I don't, I don't even know what this is. This is like coffee or tea? What is that? All down the side. We've got more of that looks like rust on the edge of the window. Yeah, it's definitely rust. We've got the remains of like duct tape or something on there. Yeah. That looks like duct tape. But the window itself is actually filthy. I can just see it there. And you can see where they've tried to duct tape all around the outside of the window. It's a quick mirror test. How clean is the mirror? Yeah, spotless. Mirror is very clean. Sink as well. Yeah, the sink is very clean as well, to be fair. Apart from the tap, the tap could use a bit of a polish. It's not dirty, it's more just water spots, but could use a bit of a polish. I mean, they just bring the value of the place down, don't they? That just looks cheap and tacky. Shower curtain. Clean. It is clean, to be fair. I don't know if there's a key for it somewhere that I've not seen yet, but I can't press that in at all. So I can't lock that. Yeah, it's gonna snap. And that's hardly a welcome, is it? On the floor instead. Half used. Clean for the most part. You just see down the back there. There's cobwebs and dust. It's filthy. And this as well. That is filthy. There's dust all over that and grime. For the most part, it is clean. It's a very basic level of cleanliness. Like the attention to detail is just not there at all. Right, next part, let's do a room tour. So this is your door when you walk in. It's a little bit rickety. You can also see this. Cracks all up and down. Looks like someone's tried to kick the door in at some point. Move into the room, this is your first view. Got a little phone on the wall there. Floor's a bit creaky. You do have a TV. Not sure what year that is from. And then moving on, you've got a little board here. You've got your kettle, teas, coffees, and the all important cup test. Yeah, bit of dust in there. Just doesn't look particularly clean, does it? Yeah, I'm going to go and say the cups are not clean. Inside the kettle? Yeah, not too bad. A bit worn, but it's not dirty. Just got some. Chest of drawers. Pretty good, it's more modern than I thought it would be. I was expecting to come here and it had all mismatched old furniture. As I said, a lot more modern than I was into Spain. I really thought it was going to come here and it's just really old school broken furniture. But that, that's like brand new, very comfy. Just down there, you can just see there's literally another door to next, the next room. You can almost feel like they can hear you talking. Probably can. Pretty huge wardrobe here, it's the same height as me, so it's about six foot tall. Nice and clean inside. 
Got your hair dryer there. Let's have a quick look under the bed. Yeah, I can't complain, it's actually very clean. I don't see any dust. The carpet itself actually looks like pretty brand new. Okay, and our final test. Have to have a look at the bed, and of course. That's always the biggest giveaway. Okay, so that's the pillow, let's take a look. Honestly. Clean, it is clean. Sheet as well. Clean. Oof, that has been used. All material that's came off the mattress protector, just all over it. But, it's not dirty. I can't say it's dirty. The biggest issue with this room is probably one of the only real issues is the windows. It's both this one and the bathroom. They just, they just need replaced badly. But other than that, you pay £32 for the night. It's a pretty solid room. I was going to show you around the hotel as well. Don't there any of the windows in this hotel work. The filthy. Just that quality craftsmanship there. Just punched a hole in the wall to put that through. I'm just having a bit of a walk around at the moment. But this hotel is just huge. It's just absolutely massive. So we're just sitting in the bar having a drink at the moment. What was that? Blenheim Suite. That's quite a fancy looking one. Richmond Suite. Oh yeah, there's just corridors and rooms everywhere. More rooms up that way. See, the hotel's a lot quieter than we expected it to be. There's quite a few people in the restaurant, but other than that, everywhere is just empty. I'm not sure what's in here, but. Hey, can you go in here? Where's this? Oh, so that's the ballroom. No, so that's locked. That's the ballroom through there. This is the exhibition hall. It's such a huge building, but there's just no one anywhere. Oh, is that through there? What is this? Olympia. I have no idea what that's for. Just honestly. Honestly, it just feels like I'm not even supposed to be here. And then again, just more, more building. It's just very vast building. Random seating area. A suite there. An elevator. Yes, yeah, so I don't want to put my camera on, but that woman just said she's the one. So she's looking for a room. <laughs> That's how big this building is. Either she's uh, secretly filming as well, or she's genuinely just can't find her room. I'm just gonna quickly film the toilet before anyone comes in. I mean, look at this, this is pretty luxury. Nice marble tiles all over the wall. It's clean. Not bad at all, not bad at all. I mean, look at that, apart from the bit of dust on it. A chandelier in the men's room. How oh, fancy, I've never been to a place where there's a chandelier in a gents toilet. There's actually other bar in there that we were rejected from. An amusement arcade through there. <laughs> I'm just having a look. Oh, eerie. It's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being nosy. <laughs> I'm going to wrap up the building, that's not right. Oh my god. Just doesn't end. 
Oh god, creaky. Just has a lot of hand, does it? Oh, shoot. So they've got this little amusement bit here. So you've got a Coke machine here, a vending machine, little amusements. But it's all out of order. So you've got this out of order, that's out of order, this is out of order, this is out of order, that's out of order, this one over here, that's out of order. So you've got one, two, those are the only working machines. Review the hotel, bro. Is it good? Is it a shit? Oh, what is it? It's not that good, mate. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you pay? We paid thirty-two pounds for the night. We paid twenty-eight. Okay, good morning. So I am very hungover. Sleep's pretty good. Um, the only downside, I'll say, is we could literally hear all night. It was just people walking past, talking in the next room, talking in that room through there. So it was non-stop noise all night. Um, but yeah, the bed was like super comfy, can't complain at all in that aspect. So yeah, overall, great night's sleep. This is the view we woke up to this morning, and we're literally checking out the room now. And I mean, this view down here is not the, uh, it's not the prettiest view in the world, is it? Okay, I just wanted to quickly jump in here and do a bit of a better ending to this video. Apologies if I sounded very drunk at any point in that video. It's because we were. It was an amazing night. I had a great night. We met a lot of people. All the staff were lovely. People staying in the hotel were lovely. At this review, I want to do it in a way where it's structured and I can follow along for future videos because I feel like each hour I'm just throwing out a random number in my head. And it, it just doesn't, it, it's just not a very good review, is it? And that's exactly what I'm doing, reviews. So I want to do this in a way where it's like five categories. I can review each of them out of 10 and then collectively give a solid, accurate score out of five. But number one, we've got staff. Number two, we've got price. Number three, we've got cleanliness. Number four, things to do. And number five, location. Category number one, we've got staff. So the staff here, I cannot fault in the slightest. Bar staff, the reception staff, uh, the security as well. Everyone was just lovely, really welcoming, easy to talk to, having a laugh. They seem like they enjoyed the job for the most part. So staff, 10 out of 10, cannot, cannot fault them at all. Number two, we've got the price. Price was £32 for the night. And for what you get in the hotel, I just think it's an incredibly fair price. A few aspects which brought the price down, which we'll go into because they're in the other categories. But the price, I'll say 9 out of 10. Number three, cleanliness. That is one of the things that affected the price. I think there was bits in the room, especially the windows, the dust behind the radiator and on top of the radiator, things like that. Just, it's just, it's basic clean and it really is. And the window is just a shocking. Um, so cleanliness, I'd give it a seven out of 10. And number four, we've got things to do. I'm assuming summer would be a lot better. Obviously we stayed at the start of January, so it's probably gonna be quiet, which it was. Um, you expect things to be closed, which they were. The pool was closed, the gym was closed. Um, I'm pretty sure the spa was closed. There was loads of things. It was just basically was shut. There was one bar and a bit of entertainment. So in terms of things to do, um, for this review, I'm going to have to give it a, a 5 out of 10, just purely because it was all closed, which is disappointing. It would be a lot better and a lot higher score, a 10 out of 10, if it was all open. And last but not least, we've got the location. So the location itself, you're about a 10-minute drive from Cleveley's and maybe like a 15-minute drive from Blackpool Town Centre. But the actual location, the Norbrex Inn, is uh, to the best of my knowledge surrounded by nothing. There's a few shops, you've got like a Morrison's Daily and a Premier and a couple of little local small shops like that. It's nothing special. If you go into Blackpool, then you'd have to pay like a good £15 each way in a taxi. So in terms of location, I'd give it a 6 out of 10 because it is quite close to them, especially if you're driving. But if you're drinking, it's a bit of a letdown. So yeah, that brings my collective score to whatever it says on screen because I can't remember the numbers I said. So yeah, that's my review of the Norbrek. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, comment what you think and comment if there's somewhere else I should go.